Hey guys, welcome to the Lift Lab. I'm Adam Neff and I want to take you guys through a home gym tour. So first we have the Intec Delta Series dumbbells. So we have five to 100 pounds in five pound increments. And then we have the self-leveling face. So the dumbbells are always looking nice and organized. And I bought this directly from Intec and they are uh, a company based in Illinois and fantastic customer service. Uh, I think these took about 12 to 16 weeks to get here. Uh, I bought these on uh, Facebook Marketplace of all places. Uh, we have old school jade dumbbells from 100 pounds, five pound increments, all the way up to 120 pounds. And then as far as the Intec dumbbells, I actually bought these straight from Intec. Uh, these have a lifetime warranty and they are uh, stainless steel. So fantastic customer service at Intec. Uh, below the dumbbells, we also have the DC blocks. So they're about one to two inches in height uh, and they're stackable. So you can make them as high or as low as you need to for step ups, split squats, deadlifts, and some other movements as well. Uh, we have an air X pad for some of our tall kneeling or half kneeling stuff, uh, ground base work. Uh, we have an ab mat from Rogue, nothing crazy here. And then behind me, we have the uh, three tier gun rack from Rogue. Uh, and then we have a Rogue power bar, Ohio power bar here. Uh, so this one is very knurled, it's uh, pretty tough and doesn't have much give to it. So it's a very stiff bar. And then found this one on Facebook Marketplace um, from a guy who I bought the leg extension and the hammer row as well, which you'll see here shortly. Uh, but this thing looks like it was dragged out of a lake, but still works perfectly. Uh, so to my right here, we have the uh, Devil's Tricycle is what we call it here. Uh, so this is the Rogue Echo Bike. Uh, if you have not tried one of these, then that's for the best. These are not fun. Um, and then we have, I think this is the AB, uh, like a AB2 or something like that, Rogue Bench, adjustable bench. Uh, this thing is extremely heavy. I was actually gifted this from a client down in Cincinnati. So uh, yeah, this thing is a, a tank. If you can't tell, Rogue definitely overbuilds their stuff. So very, very high quality, uh, actually pretty local to here in Columbus, Ohio. So we have the plates. So these are just standard Olympic plates. These are from Rogue as well. Uh, and we have two and a half, we have five, 10, 25, and 45. We skip over the 35, team no 35 over here. And then we also have some 100 pound plates too. Um, and then what this is hanging on here, we have the, uh, the Prime Prodigy rack. So this is selectorized. Uh, so we have low pulleys, we have high pulleys, we have all kinds of different movements that we can do on here. So you can actually set up for barbell squats, bench press, uh, we actually have some seats and attachments on the inside here for cable row, for lat pull downs. We have spotter arms. We have um, a dip bar located over here in the corner, a landmine attachment. And then we also have adjustable pull up station as well. Uh, so these can be brought in or out based on how uh, based on the structure of the individual. And then we also have our prime adjustable bench. Uh, as far as comparisons between the prime bench and the rogue bench, uh, the prime bench is much easier to move around. It's lightweight in comparison to the rogue bench. And then this one actually has, I think it has eight or nine different levels of incline. And the rogue bench only has four different inclines. So highly, highly recommend the prime bench uh, to some of the accessories that we have. We have our rogue collars. 
here. Um, and then I won't go through all of this with you guys, but we have some things like perfect push-ups, landmine attachment, as we said, uh, board bench, uh, arm blaster. We have some, some things that uh, were sent to me for free. This was uh, monkey feet. Those uh, things you can put dumbbells in, do leg extensions or hamstring curls. Uh, we have some rollers and whatnot, and then we have a battling rope there at the bottom. Uh, so this, this is a TKO rack that I bought from the same guy that I actually got this chest press from that you'll see here shortly. We have a rogue belt hanger and a band hanger. So we have varying amounts, varying degrees of uh, resistance when it comes to bands. We have some different attachments like the angles 90-90, uh, ropes, daisy chains, of course. And then we have uh, all of our different prime attachments as well. Um, so they have the ergonomical uh, rotate grip. So we have the four in one, the three in one, the smaller variations, the short bar, long bar. Uh, and then we actually have this pull down. This is from Titan Fitness. This is one of the only things I have from Titan. Uh, Titan is a very cheap brand. Um, this is a pretty high quality bar, but I would say, you know, if you're looking to keep things nice, you might want to be going with something more along the lines of Rogue uh, because of the sharp edges on the side of this bar. Uh, and then we have some things. I got this from, uh, I forget what it's called, Perform Best, uh, something like that. This is just an adjustable split squat. So you can adjust this up and down. And then this bench I bought in, let's see, I bought this bench from Diamond Fitness in Columbus. Uh, this is actually the same company that I got the Cybex leg press from. This thing's pretty cool because it, it's just a flat bench, but it adjusts up and down. So uh, you can actually put some DC blocks down here and then do something like a seal row uh, or glute bridges. So we use that for that. Another attachment that we have here at the Lift Lab is the uh, this extended V-bar. So it's not quite as narrow as the other V-bars out there. This one's from uh, American Barbell and it's fantastic. I love using it for uh, cable skull crushers, cable curls, and stuff like that. Behind here we have the dip bar. So that can be attached to the prime rack. And then this is a piece that I bought in Cincinnati. I've had this for uh, over two years now. This was actually located in my, uh, in the other gym that I was training at in Cincinnati for a year. Uh, this is a leg extension and a hamstring curl. Uh, the brand is Dynamax Pro. Uh, so if you do come across something like this, uh, leg support comes down, it kind of digs into your quads. Uh, but this has definitely served me well. Uh, it has a ton of different adjustments down here with the legs uh, or with the, uh, the lever arm down here. But I will probably end up getting a prime fitness leg extension hamstring curl eventually. And then moving forward, uh, we have a hammer strength isolateral row. This was bought from Cincinnati, the same guy that sold me this. Um, but I guess this one came out of Reynolds, Reynoldsburg High School. Uh, surprisingly, had somebody reach out to me on Instagram, and I think he's the strength coach there. And it was just kind of funny because he said, hey, that's my old hammer strength row. Uh, so this thing is hard to come by, hard to find the ones with uh, the different grip attachments here. Um, but eventually, we will replace these pads with some black. Um, but yeah. And then I, uh, I bought this probably about a year and a half to two years ago and had this thing taken apart. It was in my apartment and in my apartment hallway for a year and a half. And uh, I just could not wait to put it together and get to use it. So um, same thing with the dumbbells actually. So the Jade dumbbells, the 100s through the 120s, uh, I had those in my apartment for about a year and a half. Uh, just sitting there collecting dust, just waiting for their, uh, the right opportunity to start this. Uh, moving on, we have the Cybex Squat Press. So this one I bought from Diamond Fitness in Columbus. 
Uh, the same guy that sold me the Magnum adjustable bench over here. Um, and believe it or not, I had never actually used the Cybex squat press before I bought it. Uh, it was solely a recommendation from a friend and very, very happy that I did. Definitely love this leg press. And then to the left of the leg press, we have a Magnum biangular chest press. So this one is fantastic because it does converge. So it gives us a little bit more stimulation to the pecs. Uh, and then this one, I bought this one uh, right before the pandemic hit. And one of my friends down in Cincinnati uh, was kind enough to store this for me for oof, probably 16 to 18 months in his garage. Uh, so very grateful for that. And just another piece that I was really looking forward to utilizing in my training. And then next we have the Atlantis pendulum squat. So if you're like me and you're on the long femur gang, then doing a machine based squat, like a hack squat, a pendulum squat is going to be a must for growing those quads. Uh, the Atlantis pendulum squat is fantastic because we do have this counterbalanced weight. So when you go down, that weight goes up and then it becomes further from that pivot point and actually takes a little bit of load off of the bottom of the movement. Uh, so this is the Atlantis Pendulum Squat. I actually bought this straight from Atlantis uh, and it was shipped, I believe, from Canada. Uh, so the lead time on this was somewhere like four or five months, uh, but definitely worth the wait. And then we have a Cybex shoulder press. Uh, so this is the plate loaded advanced shoulder press. Uh, so the arms will move slightly independently, as you can see. Uh, it is a pretty steep angle, so you do have to have a decent amount of shoulder flexion to utilize this machine. Uh, and then a couple other things that we have, we have uh, the Prime Fitness Trap Bar. Uh, so this thing's fantastic. If you deadlift often, it can be a pain in the ass to have to load plates on yourself. So this is fantastic because you can actually take this and you can flip it upright, throw the plates on there, and then flip it back down. Uh, the other thing that makes this really a fantastic trap bar is that it has telescoping arms. You can adjust the height of the trap bar based on how tall that person is. Uh, couldn't actually do that on the ground because we have to have a plate on there so that it can go down. Uh, and then we also have some wedges. So we have the Prime Fitness 20 degree wedge. Again, if you're on the long femur gang, then getting some wedges for quad work is gonna be fantastic. Um, they sell 10 degree, 20 degree, and 30 degree. So I would either recommend starting at 10 or 20 degrees. Uh, if, unless you have completely horrible ankle mobility, you might want to go with something like a 30 degree. So I don't know if many people know this, but Lyft actually started as a clothing company. So we had run t-shirts, hoodies, joggers. We even had wrist wraps and some VersaGrip like straps as well. And if you look at our logo up here, we had talked about this in the other video of what that stands for. Uh, but if you look closely, you can actually see an old image of me in there. Uh, so this was made back in 2015 uh, during the peak of the clothing brand. But that pretty much sums up the tour. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, please leave them below. And uh, thanks for watching.